Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms, and um, welcome to a bit of a, a short um, review and sort of comments on some of the service of precision stuff that's available in the starter set for the uh, American Civil War epic battles from Warlord Games um, and also now available separately directly through Sarissa Precision either on their own or as part of the Antietam Battle Pack um, so I think on one of my previous vlogs um, I had a, a day, I think it was vlog 10 and I was unboxing or well, opening up boxes of, of mass deliveries I had all my wave 2 stuff from Warlord and I had the ACW Antietam battle set from Sarissa Precision which I had ordered as well um, and this is part of that I've already got some of this snake fencing um, and um, it's uh, I had some of the starter set I built it as per the instructions on here um, and it's fine it's great um, um, so what I'm going to do is just sort of show you how I intend to use the kind of the packs going forward while also showing you the product. Um, it'll still be a fairly short video. But um, it, anyway, it's available as part of the Antietam battle set, which at the moment is currently thirty-two fifty. So I think that's a reduction, it's a saving you make from thirty-eight pounds, and you get two sets of the um, fencing and you also get a, a version of the Dunker Church and a um, covered bridge and, and also a th um, three arch bridge which is ideal to use as um, Burnside's bridge and I think that's the idea behind the set. I'll just pop a little image on the screen of what that, what that kit looks like overall as a set. You can buy these things all individually as well. Um, and then you also, as I say, the focus today is going to be on the North American Rail Fence Kit which is £5 for one. Um, so that's your your basic instructions and one of those sets is is a really really simple sheet like that and i believe that it's uh one set is one sheet in fact i'm going to confirm that now when i look at the antietam battle set um and it says yeah you get two lots of the rail fence now each rail fence is um, 16 lengths at 5 inches each, enough to cover approximately 80 inches, it says. So that's for the two sets. It's obviously half that if you buy one set for £5. So £5 gives you 40 inches worth of coverage based on their instructions. We can make that larger. So let's have a little show you what I mean. So you get two basic parts. You get this one here with the little squares, and then you get these smaller bit. Those poke through the holes, and you get this right angle. Now a problem I've found with that is at the 15 mil scale for the model it's perfectly fine for it to be like that but it creates up a lot of real estate, table real estate, um, especially when you want to be edging roads and because we abstract in these games so often um, I just found them to be too chunky. Um, let me just grab one of the ones I've already made. So these are the bits I've made with the from the starter set um, completed that angle and it's you know it's absolutely fine it looks good and um, they're great value at five pounds a pop um, but when you start putting the miniatures by them um, the miniatures themselves have scaled well next to them I don't see there's no problem with the scale um, but what becomes an issue is the scaling of what you're representing these these base these are these stands as um, and I mean I've been using up to four spans maximum for a regiment and you know, they don't really fit in next to them this takes up quite a lot of space so it's about adjusting it really so what I am going to do with mine is just adjust it slightly so what I've done here is I've trimmed off the far end parts so we don't end up with those little squares which means you can still put them together like that if you want to but you can have them at a much shallower angle and by doing that once you've built up a few using the wrong one here I'm actually using the one I haven't adjusted um, that's not right there we go so you can end up with a much shallower angle of, of, of zigzag fencing or rail fencing the units fit up against them nicer it doesn't take up as much table real estate so it's a, re so it's a really really simple process I'm not trying to tell people to suck eggs but it's just getting a blade in there and cutting them out now you do need a really sharp blade um, or you have dangerous splitting the wood I wouldn't do it with clippers or anything so you're, when you're pressing down your 
it's forcing out and expanding the wood slowly and I am pressing down quite hard with my hand um, and then it's just a matter of very briefly tidying up afterwards that's a bit boring to watch anyway but you get the idea you can find a way more if you want to but once they're glued together I mean you could the way they clip together you could even not glue these together you can keep them as a bit of a kit that you can you can kind of build stuff out when you need it that's a bit of a faff for me um, so I'm going to um, glue some of these back together um, but that, that will be my my review overall kind of review is that these are really good value at only five pounds for 40 inches um, I haven't measured how much expanding that is going to do um, one two three four five that's five panels and we've got four there and it's already slightly longer um, so you are definitely going to add inches by using this method as well it didn't take me too long I've trimmed off the little bits on these on a whole sheet of that in about 15 minutes so it's, it's adding a few minutes to your building um, but I definitely think it's worthwhile um, and they become really really you know, they're easy to get hold of um, if you're based in the UK I'm sure they'll be the same for, for other parts of the world as well um, there are really some really good alternatives out there including making your own with barbecue skewers and matchsticks and things they're all valid I'm lazy I want something that's in a bit of a kit form um, and even with the little adjustment I'm making I still think that that's probably going to be slightly quicker to build than it would be to using to using matchsticks and things so for me they suit what I need happy spending five pounds for for that much anyway really really short video I think so we're making some good products for this um, especially if you can make minor adjustments like that um, and it's definitely where I'm going to be my go-to for ease I think for the rail fencing but I definitely feel that that little adjustment is the best thing to do and if Sarissa if you have anyone from Sarissa have you know watching this um, I would if you ever make a modification to your kits I would say just get rid of these little get rid of these little squares and, and just extend that part in because you can still build them at those right angles with glue just as strong really and they look a lot better like that and if you look at a lot of rail fences around the board gaming world they tend to be at this kind of a shallow angle um, rather than that um, it may be that that's more historically accurate I'm not so sure but I think this is better anyway thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and all that and I'll catch you soon for another video